Taking a full look at weather now, weather authority, weather forecaster, Scott Rates. I, um, I hate to admit this, but normally I do get up earlier and mm -hmm. especially on a day when you know you take the kids to school, you see the sunshine, you want to appreciate it and enjoy it. Soak it in. And then I went back to bed till about 11.30. Oh, that's a good long nap. That's a good long morning nap. <laughs> the kiddo was sick overnight, so. But uh, I woke up thinking like, oh, we have the sunshine out and we haven't yeah. had it in such a while, you know. It's, it's been a while, because yeah. you've been waking up in the morning, it's been that cloud layer right. that's been in with that compressed marine layer that yeah. means very cloudy, but yes. There's gonna be more sun though, Veronica, so okay. you're gonna get your okay, chance. And I know your favorite, warmer temperatures, right? Yes. 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 Let's talk about all of that. <laughs> we'll start again with another live look from Dominicals on the Wharf because we can't show you Dominicals on the Wharf enough at home, folks. Lovely day out there. Sun is shining. It is beating down on the water and it is gorgeous. There, I saw some critters in there a little while ago. They're not in there right now. Here are the temperatures around where you live right now. Still in the mid 60s on the coast. Santa Cruz, though, you'll go a little more north, 77 degrees at this five o'clock hour. Uh, so temperatures, very seasonable right now, but changes are afoot. All of these temperatures are gonna change here in the next 72 hours. I'll show you that in just a moment. Here is our weather pattern. The way it is stacking up right now, we have this very, very weak low. This isn't much off of the coast right here. High pressure is gonna start moving in aloft. What does that mean? That means temperatures are going to heat up. They are going to be unseasonably warm for this time of year. And I really think come late Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday is when we're gonna see that as that high pressure does come in aloft and warm us up a little bit. It will dissipate though towards the weekend and temperatures will go back down, but midweek, oh yeah, it's gonna be a little warm for uh, the end of October. The pumpkin's gonna get a little sweat on them. Futurecast looks like this tomorrow at 9 a.m. That fog really not gonna be around. Veronica, you're gonna get that sunshine in the morning. So if you can take a little walk in the morning, go for it. You're gonna get plenty of sunshine. I think it's gonna be like that really until the weekend. So Wednesday, you see at 9 a.m. really Look at that way offshore with the fog in the marine layer. So I think it's gonna be clear and it's gonna allow us to heat up, especially in places on the coast too. I think, uh, you know, Tuesday, and, or I'm sorry, Wednesday, I think you could see temperatures 75 degrees, maybe depending on where you're at uh, in, in Monterey even, and it's gonna be really warm in Santa Cruz. So keep that in mind in the inlands areas as well. It's gonna heat up. We'll talk, talk about the seven day forecast. Let's walk you through the forecast for tonight and tomorrow. We will start in Santa Cruz. It's 75 degrees, mid 70s there on the coast in the lower 70s for Davenport. As you go up into the mountains, yes, a little bit warmer there. We're gonna be pushing 80 and even mid 80s in some areas in the Santa Cruz mountains. To the Salinas Valley area we go. Mid 70s, Salinas you're looking at. Uh, and, and Marina, almost 70, so a little bit warmer there. And that will start to increase uh, as we move into Wednesday as well. Uh, Morgan Hill, you're sitting in the mid 80s, as well as Gilroy, that area, you're gonna see those mid 80s, uh, maybe even a slight bit warmer as well, depending on where you're at up there. To the peninsula we go in Monterey, sitting at 64 degrees for your high temperature. Seaside, pushing 70 degrees, so a little warmer in Seaside than Monterey. Those microclimates, you really see a big difference there. Uh, so yeah warmer on the coast. Get ready for it for a couple of days. City of King looking at 81 degrees for a high temperature and in Big Sur, 72 degrees as well. Bradley gonna be pushing 90 as you get up with that elevation for those warmer temperatures. Here is your seven day forecast with the weekend in view, even though it is only Monday, I still dream about the weekend, Veronica. You see right there, Wednesday, like I was talking about in some coastal areas, pushing 74 degrees. Santa Cruz going to be warmer than that. This is, uh, this is more, you're talking about Monterey here, Pacific Grove area, seaside area, Marina pushing 74 degrees Thursday, still warm out there by Friday. It will start cooling down as that high pressure aloft starts to dissipate and we'll be back to normal seasonal te temperatures there by Saturday and Sunday and it'll be a little bit breezy too I think on Sunday as for the inland areas look at that Wednesday Thursday you're heating up and if you're in those higher elevations too I think you're gonna be in the lower to mid 90s so yeah toasty for this time of year we'll take it we'll keep an eye on the fire danger especially Wednesday and Thursday there could get a little bit breezy I don't think it'll be too bad though and then again come the weekend seasonable temperatures Veronica all right sounds good thank you